don't buy this textbook. You don't need it. In fact, it's useless. You don't need a serial one. Hi babes and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lisa and I am a fifth year medical student here in Nigeria. Today's video I'll be talking about textbooks that medical textbooks that you don't need to buy to save your money and of course I'll talk about the ones that you actually need to buy so if that's what you're interested in then definitely keep on watching. So I have a book here with me, I have a book here with me and I have taken my time out to write it according to levels from year 1 to year 5. So I'm in year 5 so definitely the textbooks I'm telling you are textbooks I've used from year 1 to year 5. Okay, let's get started. For year 1, please and please and please don't buy anything. See, at least for my school, if you're going to my school, please don't buy anything. It's not needed. I don't know about any other school. If you want to get distinction, if you're aiming to get, you know, A's, 90s, you can buy organic chemistry textbooks, a bit of chemistry and physics to get your hand. So maths, but honestly, you don't need it. Like I said, for you one, you don't need any textbooks. Unless you want to get like 90, you're aiming to like, I don't know what you're aiming for, Shan, but it's not what you need. You really don't need those things. If I your maxing you one, don't matter in medical school. So just read what your lecturer gives to you, write your exam, and you come out. So in year two, you do um, the courses we do here in Nigeria, anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry. Now for anatomy, I'll start with the textbooks that you don't need. So number one, kids more, kids more, sorry, kids more, let me know which had the name. It's not a book to pass MD. It's a book if you are an anatomy major student. You want to gather all the stuff to get this um, first class. That's cute. But doctor, MBS, you are chasing your journey, please. Don't be carrying things that would... You read a lot of things that are not important and then you don't focus on the one important ones end up failing your exam. So please leave that textbook alone. Another one is last. I know they will drag me in the comment section, but me, I'll say that that textbook is not needed. And I'll tell you why. It's a compact textbook, it's small, it has the information, yes, but it will confuse your brain. If you don't know that topic before you open that last, you are confused. So I feel like last is what you read when you're revising for MB. You finish gathering your stuff, you just want to take like the straight to the points like the important things but it's actually a good textbook if you're reading from the beginning of the level another one if you see me looking that i have in this so yeah another one is Cunningham's manual see let me just tell me i wasted my money and i bought volume one volume two did i go to volume what volume did it end three i bought volume one volume two volume three and the reason is that they tell you that the textbook is used for dissection of cadavers and what 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 not if you understood what they were teaching you in class you would know where you're going there to can dissect and that book that i just have to squeeze it inside this section is grace anatomy it will help you but like i said again if you're an anatomy major if you're going for postgraduate for undergraduate that you have very little time to prepare your mb please stick to these books i'm about to tell you frank netters frank netters will always remain the open game of anatomy if you know your frank netters very well you would most definitely be comfortable in gross anatomy Another textbook I would also call is Grant, Grant, Grant Atlas, sorry, Grant Atlas. I didn't use it joke, but people that used it are, they are raving that it's a nice book, so I think it's a nice book. And then for your embryology, the textbook I, I would recommend for you is Land, Landman. That's a really nice book. It's straight to the point, you understand embryology, you know. I don't know, I didn't have any histology textbook, but I know there's one particular histology. What? De Fioris. De Fioris. See, I'll leave the picture on the screen, don't worry. It's an atlas. It will help you understand histology, practical, and a bit of histology. So, if those are your problems. So, now we're going to go to biochemistry. Um, for biochemistry, I only had Vasudevan, which I liked. Some persons don't like it. They prefer Sat um, Satraya. <laughs> so, Satraya. These are basically Indian authors. Their book are straight to the point, simple and short, move. So for physiology, hmm. in fact, before we even continue, all the essential textbooks, I don't like them. I feel like they are not essential. But physiology essential textbook doesn't really have that much stuff. Another textbook in physiology that I also don't think that you need your money, you need to waste, you need to spend money buying it. Is um, is it Ganon? Ganon also. All these textbooks, they are the problem with them is is they are too big. 
they contain things that an undergraduate student doesn't need. Considering that MBBS, you need you have like a very short period of time to prepare for your MB. So imagine spending so much time reading a book this fast. It's not going to add up. Okay, so for a good research textbook, I would recommend um, Guyton and Hall. Everybody raves about it. It's a very good textbook for, like I said again, it's for textbook for people that I used to read when the school. I'll start with internal medicine and surgery. For internal medicine, the two books I think are good is first of all, I think Davison is better than Kuman and Clark, but if you prefer Kuman and Clark to Davison, you can do that. Um, they also have a lot of how would I put it? A lot of stuff, you know, for people that want to gather their six am um, seven to something distinction. You can use those things. For surgery, I prefer Babies and Love to Badgers, but Badgers is a really good book. They are in volumes volume one and volume two. Just buy these books and read them before exam. You would enjoy anatomical pathology. Me, I don't like any of their things because it's too big, too much information that are not needed for someone that wants someone that is struggling to pass MB in nine months. It's too big. So for hematology, problem with hematology is we don't have any hematology textbook made in this our tropical region. So the textbook I would advise you to read is Hoff, Hoff Brand. Yes, that's a really good textbook. Rodak is a good textbook. I didn't use it, but Hoff Brand is the one I would recommend to you. It's a good textbook. Simple, small, go for it. It's good. So now for Kempat, I don't even know. This textbook called Martin Crook is the one that they kept on telling us to use in our school. But the thing about Kempat is, Kempat is a very easy course. It's a calm course. It's not easy. I take that back. It's a very calm course. And the textbook was trying to want to be hard, want to be difficult. I used it one time to read metabolic acidosis and alkalosis. I promise you, I don't know anything that that textbook was telling me. And also, it does not have some of like the things that you need in this part of So if you're reading Kempat to pass in Nigeria, don't buy it. I really don't know. Just focus, unless your school is hard, but if your school is like my school, just focus on the slides they get. The course is not even that hard. Microbiology. The best microbiology textbook is Microbiology Made Ridiculously Easy. A beautiful textbook, as easy as day. Just buy it and you're okay. But if you want other microbiology textbook, you can buy Levinson. I use Levinson. Um, it was a nice textbook. There's also Jawels too as well. But microbiology made ridiculously easy is the best of them all. So for pharmacology, hmm, pharmacology textbook, I used um, Leaping Cuts. I liked Leaping Cuts. Leaping Cuts was nice. Simple, short, small book, straight to the point. Had everything you need. Simple and short. I also know there was another textbook that was used to um, Kazon and the, it's Kazon. Kazon is nice. There's also Kazon and Trevor. The, there's another Kazon. I'm going to put a picture of it. My friend uses it. It's a smaller Kazon that has like examination key. That one is very nice. But pharmacology was really not. We did not show me favor, so I don't really have much to say here. On to year five courses, which is O and G and pediatrics. When you would step your foot into this um, O and G, the first book will tell you is 10 teachers, 10 teachers. And I'm going to tell you something. If you are reading to pass to write or and pass USMLE, buy 10 teachers. But if you are reading to write exam and pass in Nigeria, please buy a book. It is straight to the point. What they'll tell you in the world run is in Ambola. Another textbook again that some of the people will rave about is um, Duta, but I've not used it before. There's another one that illustrated um, for pediatrics. In fact, this one I'll even bring out the textbook today that is not needed. Just give me one second. Mm -hmm. You see this book they call Kangene Men? You see how the thing is big? Please leave this book alone. How will somebody read this thing together with ONG to prepare for exam in nine months? Hey, like, it's not even. And the problem with the book is that, according to Tonje, it's like articles joined together to make one big, giant book. It has stuff. Ah, it has a lot of stuff. Most of my, some of my lecturers, deans, professors, they wrote the book. It has stuff, but the thing is that everybody is using this same book. Consultant, this book. Registrars, this book. Senior registrars, this book. Students, this book. Professors, this, like, imagine everybody using one book. It will have a lot of useless things for you that is a medical student. So the best advice I will give is that you should create a medical student version of the book. Who buy it? 
But to spend your how much by is it 35? Please don't spend your 30 something 25. However, it's really more than 20 something K to buy this book. The book needs a student version, medical student version, straight to the point. But if in life you want to specialize in pediatrics, you can buy it now and keep it. It has a lot. It talks about things too in depth, too detailed. You are running for exam, want to read malaria. How will you finish malaria when malaria is like 50 pages? You cannot finish malaria. Malaria will finish you. And that book again is Nelson. Nelson is even the worst. Add this book times two. That is Nelson. Volume one, volume two. Same problem. Please divide it for medical students. And life will be simple. And that's one that me I like is um, Jolie's Disease of Children. A small, once again, small books are the best. Apart from them. We have community medicine. Me, I did not even know they had textbook until I was making this script for this video. That's why I found out that community medicine has a textbook. So textbook that i know they've recommended in my school and somebody has used that like it's packs have i used it before no do i even know what's happening in that course no but if you want to call a decision there you can buy packs i'll probably make an updated version in final year when i've used the textbook or watch my vlogs i'll probably say it then but yeah that is it and oh before i forget anywhere you see the guide the book called the guide the guide in psychiatry, the guide in internal medicine, the guide in surgery, just carry the guide. The guide will always lead you through. The guide will forever be the guide. I know that your doctor said don't buy the guide. I know your consultant said the guide is wrong, but please, my dear, buy it. Buy the guide. The guide that make people that sponsor me. Buy the guide. <laughs> buy the guide and your life will be simple. It literally has, don't read the guide at the beginning of the semester. Read the guide if you have a wardrobe this morning and you're in the bus or you went to the hospital. Read the guide so you have a perhaps of what they are saying. Read the guide as a revision the day of your exam. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please do make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ah, if you are wicked, Jesus. On a good day, what? I have one video, 2K views, you know. They never subscribe. I have another video, 1.8. People know they so Please, I beg. Is that still I'll be using pride? Please, hey job, subscribe to my channel because you don't have big so that we'll have more people here. Eh? Share my videos. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, thank you.